because the bigger you are, the higher the pressure is in your core because there's more mass, there's more weight, there's more pressure. And when you have pressure in the core, the temperature rises. And as the temperature rises, there's a threshold where you start fusing nuclei in the presence of heat. Thermonuclear fusion. The sun is undergoing thermonuclear fusion in its core. The high pressures, high temperatures are squeezing together hydrogen atoms and out the other side comes helium atoms. And the helium atom has less mass than the hydrogen atom. Where did the mass go? E equals mc squared, it became energy. And that energy is sustaining the star. Earth is moving through space at 18 miles per second. And you have no knowledge of this. We have to measure this. We have to figure this out with telescopes, with smart people, with data, with calculations. We associate motion with, hey, I can feel I'm in motion, I can feel that. But the more pure motion becomes, the less you feel it. That's why on very large vessels, if they start moving, you don't even know they started moving because everything around you is moving. Your chair, your window, everything. If you're on a bus, sometimes it looks like the other bus went backwards. No, you started going forward. Because you're surrounded by so many things that are also moving. And everything is moving smoothly. If you're on bumpy roads, you would know. Movement through space is smooth. Can't get smoother than that. It's, it's not intuitive that Earth is moving anywhere. 